Rodeo's history has no shortage of thrills and spills, but an event that showed off the competitor's true finesse and flair was trick riding. Trick riding had a short-lived stint of rodeo prominence from the 1910s to the 1930s, but was nonetheless a popular event. Featuring both male and female competitors sometimes pitted against each other, trick riding highlighted rodeos best in athleticism, horsemanship, and showmanship. Whatever the particular exercise or drill performed, trick riding requires a well-trained, calm horse with a steady gait and a tolerance of a rider climbing practically all over it. Among the many maneuvers of trick riders included the somersault, handstands, and the Russian drag. Perhaps one of the greatest trick riders of all was Leonard Stroud. When he was 16, Stroud joined the Ringling Brothers World's Greatest Shows performing what was called Wild West Trick Riding before competing in the rodeo arena. Though he was successful in saddle bronc and bareback riding, Stroud shined as a trick rider between 1914 and 1924. He's credited with performing the very first pass under the belly of a galloping horse and originated the Stroud Standout, which was considered one of the most physically challenging and dangerous trick riding maneuvers. You can learn more about rodeo history in the American West at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City and at nationalcowboymuseum.org.